To fully appreciate a thrilling action flick from the 1990s or 2000s, the presence of the Ford Crown Victoria Police Interceptor is practically a given. Renowned for its dependability and power, this vehicle was widely used by law enforcement agencies. Unfortunately, in 2012, Ford ceased production of this beloved model due to economic pressures and cost-saving measures. Yet, even if this decision hadn't been made then, the inevitable discontinuation of the Crown Victoria would have loomed on the horizon, mirroring the fate of many other sedans and hatchbacks in the U.S. market. The revival of the 2025 Crown Vic will start a new era, but its essence needs to be preserved, albeit with a modern twist. Although the upcoming model may not be as big as its predecessor, Ford is about to infuse it with distinctive and aesthetic appeal. The original Crown Victoria wasn't merely about performance, its bold design and substantial presence left an indelible mark. In today's landscape, the new car should adopt a smaller, more efficient footprint, while still prioritizing reliability and durability. First of all, do not expect the Crown Vic to use a ladder frame in 2025. With the focus on the efficiency, there is no room for such a setup nowadays. The new architecture also brings a fresh styling. The simplicity and practicality of the previous vehicle were part of its charm. However, in the spirit of evolution, the 2025 Ford Crown Victoria is accepting a more contemporary aesthetic. With a focus on integrating modern cues and advanced features, the third generation is primed to deliver a strikingly aggressive styling overhaul. Expect a departure from the past, as the new model is set to introduce a more upscale appearance, marked by a completely redesigned front end. The biggest change will for sure be the vehicle's platform. Previous architecture was very versatile, but also too heavy, the new platform should result in a significant loss of weight. Indeed, the interior of the previous Crown Victoria was renowned for its exceptional design and layout, setting a high standard for comfort and functionality. The 2025 model needs to continue this tradition by offering a cabin that exudes sophistication and modernity. Definitely, more trim levels and tech will be offered for the upcoming version of the iconic vehicle. Performance has always defined the car. The 2025 Ford Crown Victoria demands power and torque for pursuits and escapes, favoring a turbo V6 over a V8, aligning with company's trend away from large engines. A high-output four-cylinder or hybrid system could also feature, offering versatility. Some plug-in configurations can deliver massive outputs and incredible performance. We just hope Ford won't make it an EV. Jim Farley announced a low-cost electric model, and fans are still guessing what it is going to be. An electric Crown Vic and the return to police service are just some of the options we've heard about. However, most fans are still not ready for a switch from an internal combustion engine, so even a hybrid configuration would be hard to accept. The car was displayed at dealerships, but it is best known as a police vehicle. So, when you mention the 2025 Ford Crown Victoria, the first thought is the PD. Anyway, the new model doesn't seem so legit for a few reasons. Today, SUVs and trucks dominate the market, with models like the F-150 and Explorer favored by law enforcement. Ford's attempt at hybridization with the police responder hybrid sedan in 2017 was short-lived. It is not in the lineup today since SUVs can do everything as cars, plus they are bigger and heavier. These vehicles make a bold statement, equipped with robust engines and versatile configurations to ensure optimal performance for law enforcement duties. Unfortunately, the comeback of the iconic car is just a wish. There are no realistic signs of the Crown Vic's return, except for discussions among old fans. Sometimes, Ford listens to these comments, but this is a whole new realm. Even if it does come back, the 2025 Crown Victoria won't be the same vehicle as it was 15 or 20 years ago. We can only hope for some hybrid configuration that can revive the iconic nameplate.